Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Prystar, one of the most interesting corporations in the game in my opinion. It got added with turmoil and heavily relies on using this expansion's game mechanics to its best to thrive. Let's get started. Prystar starts the game off with 53 mega credits, loses 2 TR immediately, and its ability reads During the production phase, if you did not get TR so far this generation, add one preservation resource to this card and gain 6 mega credits. Preservation resource is worth 1 point at the end of the game. This also means that Prystar starts the game with 2 less mega credit production than everybody else. With Prystar, you have a clear game plan. You want to avoid terraforming as much as possible, or at least focus your terraforming efforts on one or two gens, where you play really effective terraforming cards, or try to steal bonus steps on the oxygen, temperature, or Venus track from your opponents. This means you prefer a long game and want to establish card draw and a strong economy. Oxygen bumpers and plant bird cards are devalued heavily with Prystar. Keep that in mind when deciding whether you want to play this corp. Other than that, Prystar has above average starting capital, and if you can use your ability after the first gen, you effectively have 4 mega credit production. More importantly even, Prystar is really fun to play in my opinion, as it differs a lot from other corps, has a high skill ceiling, and requires you to plan ahead. As explained before, Prystar thrives in a long game. You do not want to terraform in most of your turns, since when doing so, you lose the ability to get a preservation resource and 6 mega credits at the end of the gen basically making you a generic corp with a worse economy than your opponents. You want to rely on cards with victory points on them, as well as milestones and awards to win the game. This also means that you will want to get a great economy going and establish some continuous card draw. But again, this does not mean that you should never terraform ever. Especially in the mid to late game, when points become more important, you might be forced to play terraforming cards to achieve maximum point efficiency. So pick up the best terraforming cards you come across throughout the game and then try to play them all in as few gens as possible. Also, stealing the most important bonus steps on the Oxygen, Temperature or Venus track is totally worth not being able to use your ability one gen. Again, cards that regularly increase your TR are really bad with price down. This includes cards such as Oxygen Bumpers, Asteroid cards, Venus related action cards or others. Still, you might want to cut them in the draft to prevent your opponents from using them to increase the speed of the game. Just don't pick them up yourself. Plant Prod is also heavily devalued with Prystar. Storing plants is really risky, because they can be destroyed by hate cards, so you need to convert them whenever you have enough, but this goes against your playstyle. Heat Prod is a little more convenient, as there are no direct heat destroying cards, meaning you can store it and all use it in a single jump. But this takes away from the economic benefits of increasing the temperature track with heat. Also, use Turmoil's politics system to your advantage. You have one party that clearly benefits you, the Reds. You start off with 2 TR less than everybody else, even if Terralabs researches in the game. You are the one with the lowest TR from the start and will be throughout the game as you almost never increase it. So every time this party gets into power, you get 1 TR for free. Which by the way, does not trigger your ability as it happens at the end of the gen, after your ability was already evaluated. Also, whenever this party is in power, you do not suffer from its ruling policy, as you will not increase your TR anyways. But this also means that you should try to time your rare terraforming turns with this party not being in power. The heavy reliance on just one party also means that some cards that allow you to place delegates more easily gain in value. In terms of milestones and awards, Terraformer is of course a no-go for you, and in contrast, nothing directly favors you. Bankers, Scientists, Specialists and Tycoon are all milestones or awards that generally fall into your playstyle, but you don't have a strong bonus for any of them. The only award that favors you significantly is Eccentric, as by the end of the game you'll probably have 7 or 8 cubes on your corp alone, but even this award can be easily swung by one of your opponents with 2 or 3 resource collecting cards. The other expansions do not really favor you in any way. There are some good colonies and some bad colonies for you, Venus Next introduces another terraforming track that you mostly want to avoid, and the Prelude expansions offer some good preludes and some bad ones. So all in all, I think Prystar relies on the game mechanics introduced with Turmoil, but nothing else. I also consider this to be an enormously fun corp that you should definitely try out if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on Prystar, and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Also, follow me on Twitch where I stream Terraforming Mars every week. See you there!